Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. Today on my channel about Norse language and myth, I'm going to be telling you about where you can find the text of the Poetic Edda in Old Norse. Now most people who ask this question are looking not to spend money, so let me tell you about some free resources first, although with the understanding that paid resources will often have advantages over those free ones. The first free resource that comes to mind is heimskringla.no, a Norwegian website that has not only the text of many Old Norse works in the original language, but also translated into modern Danish, Swedish, and Norwegian, or I had to say semi-modern because usually these are 19th century, early 20th century works that are out of copyright now. There you can find the poetic Edda under its Old Norse title, Edu Kvadi, Poems of the Edda. Uh, usually there is a, uh, a copy of the uh, Guthne Jonsson version, which is uh, a little bit modernized with respect to modern Icelandic um, spelling. And then for some poems you can find Finner Jonsson's, which actually typically goes the other way and is more archaized than the text of the actual manuscript itself. So for instance, he archaizes uh, the word er is to s, it's more archaic form, that kind of thing. Uh, there is also a digital version of the um, Neckel edition of the Edda on uh, Titus web texts. And if you want to just look at the manuscript itself, you can find it at hanthreet.is, manuscript.icelandic, where you can find the Codex Regis, the Poetic Edda, cataloged as GKS 2365 quarto. Now on my own YouTube channel, I have also gone through the Old Norse language text of four of the poems of the Poetic Edda so far. I have done Folespa, Grimnismal, Baldrstraumar, and Hobomal. So you can actually find the entire uh, Old Norse text along with the runic text for those poems in those videos, which uh, not many people have ever discovered. Um, keep in mind that the Poetic Edda, of course, was not written in runes originally. It is preserved in the Codex Regius and manuscript that's in the Roman alphabet, the same alphabet used to write English today. Now, if you're willing to spend a little bit of money, right after a quick word from my sponsor, I'll tell you about some uh, paid resources that uh, may give you a couple advantages over these uh, free ones. Now the first not free resource that I will mention is if you were looking specifically for the text of the poem Havamal in Old Norse, in 2019, Hackett Publishing Company published my edition of Havamal in Old Norse uh, with the text based directly on the manuscript in the Codex Regius. That is the Wanderer's Havamal. It also features my facing page English translation and extensive commentary on the Old Norse text and an introduction to the text, along with some related texts, and my special translation, which is separate from my normal one, called the Cowboy Hovemall, where I take Hovemall and put it into the voice of my grandfather. If you're looking for the entire Edda, your best chance is to go to an Icelandic bookseller website. I recommend boksala.is, because that's where I've managed to use uh, American credit cards most effectively. And look for Edu Kvadi, again, or well, in modern Icelandic pronunciation, Edu Kvadi, meaning poems of the Poetic Edda. Look for one of two editions. There's one by Gisli Sigurdsson. This is intended a little bit more for your Icelandic college student audience. Spelling is modernized toward modern Icelandic, and there's a lot of commentary that assumes, and it's all in Icelandic, the commentary is all in Icelandic, that kind of assumes that you know modern Icelandic. There's also a two volume edition, very new, by Jonas. Kristjansson and Vjesteden Olason, also called Etkvaidi, and it's broken into two volumes. And that has the entire Poetic Edda in uh, classical Old Norse spelling, so more like, say, the spelling I would use on this channel than like modern Icelandic spelling. And a great deal of commentary. Again, however, the commentary is in modern Icelandic. Now, none of this is going to do you any good if you don't know how to read Old Norse. So, 
you might check out my video about how to learn Old Norse, uh, but I would give you the quick tip that the only book or book set I recommend right now is A New Introduction to Old Norse by Anthony Fox and Michael Barnes, or you can also check out the videos on my channel about the Old Norse language, including a new version of the lessons in Old Norse uh, that I'm putting together starting right now in mid-June 2020. And yes, it is mid-June 2020 as I record this. All right, well, in mid-June from beautiful Wyoming, I'm wishing you all the best. Now let me make a quick PSA here. Um, I know many people are, and, and I'm flattered that many people are interested in coming to the University of Colorado to study with me or, or take my classes. But remember, as discussed in several videos, I am leaving the Nordic program at the end of spring 2020. So I will no longer be teaching classes like Norse mythology, Icelandic sagas at CU. If those classes continue to be taught at CU, they'll be taught by somebody else. I will no longer have any association with the Nordic program. I will still be at the University of Colorado in an unpaid position as resident scholar. And hopefully uh, during this period, I'll have more time to uh, make these videos, which of course reach more people than any classroom ever will, um, work on my upcoming translations such as the Prozetta, and work on my class in Norse mythology for the great courses. But please don't come here thinking um, that, that I run some, some Hogwarts for Old Norse. I, that I, I don't, and you're not gonna find that anywhere actually. There really aren't any good jobs teaching this stuff and I need to try to make a living. Um, and actually, Given the lack of rewards in teaching this stuff in a conventional way in classrooms, I, I need to take the time away from the classroom to work on these projects that really reach the people that are interested in this stuff, the videos, the books, and now great courses. All right. Well, as always, for beautiful Colorado, let me wish you all the best and uh, good health and the best to you and yours during this uh, whole coronavirus situation in April 2020. All the best.